Good morning, good morning. Welcome to our European Morning Call. And uh, whilst US stocks, of course, yesterday hit uh, their all-time high, surpassing the uh, low struck in March, they recovered that February high. Uh, but uh, it's a different story in Europe, uh, if we look at the FTSE. Um, down 20% or so year to date, uh, hit that peak, that post um, post uh, low peak here around uh, 6,500, uh, trying to tap on 6,600 back in June. Um, it's steadily trended weaker uh, since that move. And uh, you've got to say that really the underperformance in Europe versus the US has once again been quite stark. Uh, we keep being told that European stocks are 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 uh, you know good value on a price to book ratio, or whatever. Um, but nonetheless, it does rather seem that European stocks are failing to really recover in the same way. Uh, if we look at the DAX, not quite as poor as the FTSE, but certainly uh, still some way off that high uh, that it struck in February. Elsewhere, uh, the dollar was offered yesterday and uh, majors are holding gains, but just a little bit softer this morning. Um, the euro holding above 119 and cable holding above 132. In commodities, what we have is gold, uh, just a little under that uh, $2,000 mark that it hit again yesterday, just fading off that level, having hit 2016 there. Um, that's where the bulls run out of momentum. That's going to be an interesting level to watch in the near term if we can recover uh, this sort of region up here. Um, otherwise, we're looking again at support uh, sitting around this uh, initial uh, retrace at 1978, around that region, around uh, the twin $1980 mark. Um, otherwise, uh, keep your eyes open on uh, talk about stimulus. Nancy Pelosi talking about that, uh, saying that she might be prepared to do a deal. And then, uh, as ever, there's the usual Donald Trump, uh, uh, China, Biden sort of story rumbling on uh, as we approach the election. And then finally, Brexit talks have resumed and uh, uh, not got off to the best start. So headline risk there for the pound as well. That's it for now. Um, we'll be back later on. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.